Good morning. It's Wednesday, the 22nd of um, December. <laughs> and we are going to a really cool football fan pyramid here. And uh, we're going on the back road, so uh, to get there, you have to go on the back road. We're in the jungle. I just want to show you what it, what it looks like. As you can see, as you can see, the jungle is on either side of the car right now. And really, I don't know, it's really a thick jungle too. Let's put it out the window and show you. It's really thick. And the jaguar, the jaguar can hide anywhere in this jungle. And I'm, I'm sure they're full of jaguars. So, anyway, just showing you. The road just goes straight through the jungle, and on either side is the jungle. So, it's really, really, I mean, you don't see any spaces. See, you don't see any spaces in between the trees or anything. Very, very thick. So we have several miles from here, eight miles, eight miles of just one road, uh, one road, 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 He'll be driving along, and all of a sudden, boom! All of a sudden, boom! The whole road is filled with these big potholes. So, this is what you can expect in some places. You see, I mean, it'd be like torture walking through this, through this uh, jungle if there's no path, and you'd have to have a machete to cut a path, no doubt about it. Very thick and beautiful. Here's the entrance to the Mayapan ruins, or Mayapan, and the pyramids in the distance. Um, it says here on the sign that El Castillo de Co Kukulkan. There's the castle of Kukulkan, whose post-classical period was 1200 to 1441. So for 240 years, this city was occupied, which Which is very interesting to me. 240 years of civilization. And this is Mayan, because we're in the Yucatan. So this is the Mayan culture. So for 240 years, the city was vibrant and alive with people. And now, there's no people. Well, where did the mines go? They didn't go anywhere. They left these ruins, but they went to other villages. They're still around. There's still many mines in the Yucatan. So many. I went through four villages of Mayans on the way over here. But, for some reason, they abandoned this type of architecture and went to more modern cement block architecture. I think I like this architecture better though. But maybe, maybe this is 
how it was back then too that only the royalty lived in this area and that everybody else lived in little villages surrounding it that might be the case because you notice with these cities that generally speaking you don't see any you don't see any evidence of people who lived in the city just around it maybe it's hard to say but I know one thing within all these cities there, there's the castle over there but in all these cities there's underground tunnels throughout all these cities where people could have lived and they have found a lot of cities underneath the pyramids so my guess is that it could be that way with this city too and even today there may be people that live under these pyramids and cities this may be just the tip of the iceberg so to speak because we don't know what we're going to find we always bring a, a walking stick with us because you don't know what you're going to find as far as animals and animals and things that's the main pyramid there and this one is reasonable this one is re these stairs are in kind of rough shape shall we climb them anyway? hmm probably I don't know they're in pretty rough shape though they're very steep so now I see evidence of homes in the distance there's the main pyramid there someone's on top of it <laughs> people are crazy that, that main pyramid is really steep Hmm. Someone going up the stairs to the top of it. I would say that main pyramid's about a thousand feet high. So it's pretty high. Pretty big. Pretty big one. See there's a person there. Compare it to these people on top of the main pyramid. Then, if you notice, here I'll just zoom out a bit. If you notice this whole area, got a round building right there. You got a really cool, it's a really nice, uh, beautiful platform building with a house on top or temple hard to say because they've taken all the stuff out of it and then you see the same kind of architecture in India 5,000 year old temples in India you got these round pillars same as same for Egyptian see this this kind of architecture follows the Egyptian style so it does tell us one thing that through the whole world this culture was prevalent throughout the whole world this culture was prevalent at one time and they've just discovered they've discovered these pyramids everywhere in America 
um, in Antarctica, just about everywhere on the continent you have pyramids like this. And so, it's something that's very prominent in the culture of the world. And there's that person on there. I, I'm wondering if I should go up on the top of that. I think I will, but it looks scary as hell. But I think I'll do it. You never want to. You never want to miss out on an opportunity. So I might just do it. You might not know this, but this is really steep. It goes really steeply down. And one thing about me is going up for me is not a problem. I don't look down. But when I go down. Mm, it's a problem. <laughs> I am a little afraid of heights. Even if I get this close to the edge, like this close, I start to shake. <laughs> it's terrifying, but you gotta face your fears. But this pyramid I'm standing, or this platform I'm standing on now, it's hollow, it's, complete, it's hollow. And there, see that round thing right there? That uh, goes down inside of it. And they have put bars in there to keep people out. But my guess is, if I was strong enough, I could lift that rock and see what's in there. Let's see if I'm strong enough. Nope, I'm not. <laughs> not strong enough. But you could see that down there, there's, it's a hollow structure. Hollow definitely so well down there. You see that in this rock there's seashell imprints. So they got these rocks perhaps at the bottom of the ocean or when the ocean flooded. But they look like when you look at the rocks, they look like volcanic rocks to an extent. And uh, a lot of, see, here's some more seashell markings right there. Seashell markings. It looks like a stage of some sort. It's a tail of a lizard iguana right there. So he lives in the palace here. <laughs> now, there's signs up here that say no no suba. And there's a sign over here that says no subir. There's a full castle pyramid, Krakulkan, looking straight at it. And here, I'm in the, what is it? I'll bet. Yeah, you, know, you have to wonder. This is probably used to be a doorway right here. And they have blocked it up. Same thing. You know how I know that? Because, because there's so much more to this structure over here. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, so they did block it up, block the doorway up. Oh, let's look over here. There you can see. An 
Entertainment System Center. <laughs> and you got a big platform right there where someone could watch the events. Maybe the king sat there and watched the performance. Quite interesting. I will tell you that. See all these platforms everywhere? Hmm. Then this round building over here, we go see that too. So that was on top of over here. I was standing on top of this structure taking video of the valley. And now we'll climb even higher. This is the name of the temple we were on. It's called El Templo de los Nichos Pintados. In Spanish that means the temple of the painted niches. As you can see, this is extremely steep. You know, I've climbed many a pyramid in my life. I even climbed Chichen Itza before they told people they couldn't climb it anymore. That was many, many years ago. I climbed Koba, and I'm going to climb Kukulkan. He's pretty brave. He's not sitting down. I think I'm going to be sitting down when I climb down it. We'll see what happens. So this has windows in it. See those windows? That's the room that was blocked off. So, yeah, I knew I was right. There's something inside that room that they don't want people to see. Not only that, it could lead... To me, that looks like... This could be like a, some kind of station where you go down in the inner earth right here. And then you take the subways from here. So that's a very real possibility. You know, underneath the ground, there's... so many subways that go everywhere in the world so that could be what that is. Straight down so um, as much as I want to I'm gonna be safe and not climb this pyramid because the steps are in bad shape and with me hurting my back the other day it's a good possibility I could fall down these stairs so uh, we'll just have to skip it. Much as I want to climb it, uh, I'm afraid I'll fall down the stairs, so. Uh, I got up this far, and I realized these stairs are really in bad shape, and there's nothing to hold on to on the, on the sides, so. Uh, we'll, uh, when in doubt, don't do it. I have, uh, many looks like rows and it's funny thing is probably where they la landed the uh, saucers and then people would get on them here maybe this was an ancient airport maybe the saucer landed on top of the pyramid it's completely flat, you never know. Anyway, uh, two hundred and forty years the city was occupied. This, they say, is a uh, observatory to study the stars. 
So these stairs I can climb. We'll take a look up these. And in the distance you see a structure on the roof. They're excavating it. Over here they're, they're doing excavations and rebuilding. For as many pyramids as we have here, they only charge 50 pesos to go inside. 50 pesos. Yeah. That lady's still on top of the still on top of the pyramid. She did it. So how come I can't do it? <laughs> the observatory. I might give it one more try. Uh, but it is scary, so I don't know. I bet if you had a metal detector, you could find a lot of stuff here. This is the door to the observatory. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. Oh. Oh, the observatory. What is in there? So, so little places. Many structures. Of course, those round pillars are to support the roof and they must have been a lot taller than they are now question where'd the other roof stones go <laughs> hard to say got uh, a nice hut over here and one also over here and I see that there's a relief over there too let's go see what that relief is we're gonna take a look at both of these there's more to meet the eye can you see the relief in there see what this building is see there this pyramid used to be coated with plaster with artwork on it. See that? You can see the artwork or writing. So that's what they're covering. The whole pyramid, you wouldn't be, have been able to see these these bricks like this or these big rocks. It was completely covered in plaster with beautiful, see it wouldn't look like this at all back in the day I mean they're saying it's only like a thousand years old it's way more than that it's way more than that probably five thousand years old but they don't really give the correct dates this right here it looks like a person with wings that flies 
and he's feeding the vultures. He's feeding the vultures. Let's if I can get, there's a vulture. Yeah. Matter of fact, I saw a lot of vultures on the way up here. So this guy's feeding the vultures. Looks like he's got wings. He's feeding the vultures. And down below, there's a warrior. Oh, I see what it is. I see what it's depicting. Okay, this guy got killed in a battle or he died. And his soul is flying back to God. See, that's his soul right there. And it's got wings on it right there. And he's coming out of underneath this this body, this person with jaguar teeth. Ah, so that tells us a story, doesn't it? That tells us a story. I'm going to get up, uh, up closer to it in case you didn't. Okay, um, I got really close. I want to show you the head, if I can. Let's see, there's his eye. Just step back a bit. All right, here we go. Notice the teeth. He has like saber, saber tooth teeth. And see that eye? And he has facial features with, with the saber teeth and a pointed head like they had in uh, Egypt, the pharaohs. Um, this is probably one of the Adamites. They are not human. And anyway, not that it matters. There are different species than humans. They do. Oh, you can see how. <sighs> you can see how his uh, ribs are like gills or something. Well, I don't know. Those are his ribs, I guess. Anyway, that's where they probably would have chopped his head off and put it in there. Ah, huh, I get it. I get it. This is probably for the ball games. You know, they were really into chopping people's head off, and so they probably in the ball games chopped a person's head off, put it in there in this square box area. And so the soul, yeah, so the soul, this guy going, flying back to source. Yeah, because you've got the, yeah, this story you can pretty much interpret. You, you have the, the birds. that uh, eat people when they die. That symbolizes the death. Then you got the wings, wings of symbolizing the spiritual body that flying, it's flying into eternity. And then here's a head, and that's where they put the head of the person, the ball player, they cut their head off. And this, my dear friends, is not a human species that built these pyramids and were ruling. It was not a human species. I would say it's a, the Adamites or it could be reptilians. Hard to say. But it wasn't human. They're not humans. Mm -hmm. uh, they have some DNA of humans in them, but they're not fully human. What's a human anyway? 
a human is a hybrid that's half normally half reptilian and half uh, something else some other species uh, like Nordic or there's so many different ones Venetian One thing is interesting, I don't see any monkeys. I've never seen any monkeys around here. I see a lot of iguanas. And the locals do eat the iguanas. So here's another relief on this side. And he does look like a human. And he... There's another somebody with his hand up. That's a hand right there. And uh, you know what it could be too though is that see that missing that big stone opening like on both sides it could be there are many possibilities it could be it could be that they just stole the head off of both of those statues so nobody would see what they look like a lot of times they do we just noticed a cenote is right over here, which means there's underground cavern systems underneath the pyramids. And also that means that this pyramid was a uh, power plant. That's what it means. That this pyramid, as all pyramids are, power plants, and they have to have water running underneath them. And that's the water supply right there. Let's go take a closer look. Just what I thought. This underground cave system, it's everywhere, and it's really massive. It's really a massive underground cave system, and that's full of water. Not only that, but the water probably flows under the pyramid, so they could generate electricity, and that's, that's, how, they had, that's how they used to do it. All the, all the pyramids were power stations. There's a rock that has a shape, so it, it was carved into something and they've, uh, they've eroded or erased the face of it. But we do know one thing about this area. There was two species here. The human species and more than likely the Adamites or the reptilian species. So they apparently worked like we do today, side by side, helping each other. Here's a nice wall. I do know one thing. The one thing I know, they must have skunks here because I'm smelling, in my country, I would say, the smell of a skunk smells just like it. Now let's go over here. So opening a door opening. One thing that they're keeping classified in this site is, I'll tell you what they're keeping classified. Here's something interesting. Okay, so all these doorways are about four feet tall. Normally you build doorways the size of a person. So the people probably were just four feet tall because that's the doorway, four feet. I had to stoop right now to get under it. So it's quite a beautiful sight. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I couldn't climb to the top of that pyramid. Oh wait, maybe I can. Maybe these stairs are better. Yeah, these stairs on this side are much better. We'll try it. 
See if I get too scared, I can always turn around. I have to show you how steep that is. I didn't look down when I climbed up because it's too terrifying. But, yes, that's a key to going down. So, very, it's very frightening up here, I must say. But I do want to give you the views, give you the views in the distance. city could be bigger than it looks. I mean it could be going to the jungle too, I don't know. I guess the people that are excavating this know about it. One thing we do know, it's quite a sight. side in the distance. That's the jungle in the Yucatan. Mayapan. I'm in Mayapan, Yucatan. To surmise, I went to the top of that pyramid just to show everybody what it looked like. And I found another set of stairs that were in better condition and I felt I could get up and down safely. So that's basically, that's what you do. If you don't think you can get up and down safely, then go find, find another route. Or if not, just skip it. But uh, I was able to take some photos. I hope you enjoy the uh, video today. One thing to remember about these ancient cities and pyramid structures in general is these cultures that built them were very advanced technologically. They had helicopters, jets, spaceships, uh, saucers, everything. So uh, throughout the world at one time, the world was more advanced than it is now. We're now starting to catch up to what we lost during the flood of Noah, but uh, these cities were extremely advanced cultures, more than we are now. Today we're like a society of uh, run by really, well, I won't say it. <laughs> I think you know what I mean. Anyway, enjoy your life, enjoy the video, Merry Christmas.
look at that. Look at these plants with little flowers going out the top of them. Quite pretty. There's a cactus over here. The flower trees are really beautiful. Tr flowers in all the trees. Like this one, for instance. Look at those. I mean, how beautiful is that? Here's a Christmas tree I found at the shopping center. It's humongous.